So my name is Ryan Harris. I'm the founder and CEO of a nonprofit organization. As I put this seed, I'm, I'm, I'm hunting park to the core. Um, born and raised right on uh, Delhi Street, right around the corner. So, you know, I'm, I'm playing it here. I grew up playing football for the North Philadelphia Aztecs since I was 11 years old. Um, and it was more, I would say it was my coaches, but when I look back now, and I see the role that they played in my life. There was more like mentors and kind of like, not just helping me on a football field, but helping me navigate through life. You are currently inside of the tree house. The tree house is a place that we call home. We have been operating out this building for the last year and a half, and we currently run 13 programs in here from boxing to etiquette program to right now we're doing a design workshop uh, to, for kids to learn how to um, create logos, uh, make flyers, do web designs, so they'll be able to get those skills. The atmosphere is different, and you know? um, it's, just, it's, it's a, a place of learning and having fun. You know, we created that so everybody can feel safe and, and loved and comfortable while they're, while they're learning. And that's the easiest way to learn. <laughs> People are changing and it's happening. I, I'm seeing it so I can't deny it and I, and, and I can't stop. What I found out was that the more I was able to connect with the youth and teach them, the parents was more interested and more willing to find out what their kids was learning. But we also wanted to make sure that we was developing in with an area of skills so they could be able to eventually take care of themselves and have something that's tangible to be able to make money to take care of their families. We are a very, very strong um, collective input community. Um, we understand that we can't do it alone, so we don't make decisions alone. And we kind of like vet hey, these that, organizations and these programs before, and, and we always get the input of the youth to tell us what they want to do, and we, we go get it. I think it's not enough to keep saying that we have these programs and they exist, but how accessible are they? Um, do you know the people and why they're not coming out of their own communities to go to these programs? We gotta stop playing with the idea of what help look like and really do what is needed. And you know, I know there's different ways to, you know, funnel funding into creating this, you know, this this idea of what, you know, kind of shifting the leverage. And that's what it gotta look like. And we can't really compromise with that because people are dying and they're dying because of lack of knowledge they're dying because they don't understand that there's abundance we just don't understand exactly how to get it and only together we was able to accomplish this and we can accomplish a whole lot more if we you know strategically move together and that's more what i'm interested in and uh kind of like making sure people understand that you you're not alone everybody has weaknesses everybody has strengths and everybody start to identify them and move as one organism it changes things so that's what i want people to know about your takeaway when they leave here that this wasn't built you know with with nobody no, no seed money it, it wasn't built like that it was built from the ground literally to be able to be here and be able to say we did it so we can look back and have something to hold on to to continue to go forward because we, we did it and we you know we got to hold on to that because that you know history has showed that they're taken from you every time if you don't appreciate it you know if everybody is literally getting up and waking up and doing what they absolutely love every day and i get to do that our goal is just way bigger than hunting park we um, started here but we're not going to stop here